the Fairchild Republic A-10 Lightning II, first built almost 50 years ago, is among the world's most powerful and reliable aircraft. This jet, capable of giving as good as it can take, was being considered for retirement, but thanks to its recent upgrades, this might not be the case after all. In 1965, the United States entered the Vietnam War, and at the time, their primary ground attack was the obsolete Douglas A-1 Sky Raider, an aircraft that simply did not possess the capabilities needed to win the war. It was slow, lacked firepower, and most importantly, was extremely vulnerable to ground fire. So, over the years, it was replaced by many aircraft. Nonetheless, the US could not find any suitable plane for the job. Maybe it was time for the Air Force to stop repurposing old aircraft for new missions, and instead design a new one whose specialty would be close air support. Thus began the AX program that would later birth the Warthog. The Air Force issued the aircraft requirements, and interested companies could now submit proposals. Among many, Northrop and Fairchild Republic were chosen to build prototypes. The Northrop YA-9A and Fairchild Republic YA-10A were the prototypes, and all that remained was a fly-off between both aircraft. The YA-10A took to the air, totally dominating the playoff meeting and exceeding the laid-out standards. As a result, it won the AX program, and the $10 million production version later became known as the A-10 Warthog. In October 1975, the United States Air Force's davis monthan Air Force Base in Arizona received the first production A-10A. However, to remain lethal in an ever-changing battlefield, the A-10 has been upgraded from the attack aircraft of the 1970s to the new and lethal aircraft of today. With a mighty offense suite, defense armor like no other, and an avionics department laced with the most cutting-edge technology, the A-10 is the only attack aircraft that can spread devastation anywhere, anytime. The United States and its allies have found the aircraft to be an extremely important asset due to the combination of its huge and diversified ordnance load, lengthy loiter time, accurate weapons delivery, austere field capability, and survivability. This aircraft has taken part in operations Desert Storm, Southern Watch, Provide Comfort, Desert Fox, Noble Anvil, Deny Flight, Deliberate Guard, Allied Force, Enduring Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom. With that being said, let's take a deeper look at the specifics of the Notorious Fighter. Though the craft can carry a large amount of ordnance, a 30,173mm GAU-8A Avenger autocannon is the A-10's primary built-in weapon. The cannon that can fire massively depleted uranium armor-piercing shells is one of the most powerful ever flown. The GAU-8 is a high rate of fire, hydraulically operated 7-barrel rotary cannon built primarily for anti-tank use, and its initial design allowed the pilot to switch between 2100 and 4200 rounds per minute. This was later altered to a constant rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. Because the cannon takes roughly half a second to reach full speed, 50 rounds are fired in the first second, followed by 65 or 70 rounds per second. The gun is accurate enough to place 80% of its shots within a 40-foot diameter circle when flying at 4,000 feet. In addition to the autocannon, the A-10 is outfitted with the AGM-65 Maverick air-to-surface missile. Electro-optics and infrared are used to target, the Maverick can engage targets at considerably larger ranges than the CAN, resulting in less risk from anti-aircraft systems for the A-10. In addition to these weapons, the A-10 has been upgraded to be able to use a variety of newer weapons, such as cluster bombs, Hydra-70 rockets, and GPS and laser-guided bombs, among many others. The A-10 also has been upgraded to carry an ALQ-131 electronic countermeasures pod for electronic warfare. But what's even more impressive is that the A-10's offense is backed up by an equally formidable defense. After all, being so close to the fighting grounds is bound to attract regular fire from anyone with a weapon. The A-10 has been exceptionally combat-hardened, and almost 6% of the aircraft is heavy armor, allowing it to withstand direct impacts from high-explosive and armor-piercing weapons. It has two redundant hydraulic flight systems, as well as a mechanical system as a backup. In fact, if the aircraft loses an engine, one elevator, half of its tail, or even half of its wing, it continues to fly with enough control for the pilot to return to base. As a result, targeting the plane's exterior is just fruitless. But this unparalleled protection does not just end here. The cockpit of the A-10 is equally impressive. The cabin and all elements of its flight control systems are shielded by 1,200 pounds of titanium aircraft armor, known as the bathtub. A multi-layer nylon tiny shield protects the inner surface bathtub, directly exposed to the pilot from shell fragmentation. 
As a result, the bathtub can withstand direct impacts from 23mm cannon fire and some indirect hits from 57mm shell fragments. The aircraft's front, windscreen, and canopy are also designed to withstand fire. To protect it from any kind of explosion, all four gasoline tanks of the A-10 are disconnected from the fuselage. To benefit from this protection and to reduce fuel loss, most fuel system components are housed inside the fuel tanks. Still, there is more tank protection with reticulated polyurethane foam lines on both the inner and outer sides of the gasoline tanks. The engines are also insulated from the rest of the airframe by firewalls. If all four main tanks fail, two self-sealing sump tanks store enough gasoline for 230 miles of flight. All these setups make the A-10 nearly impossible to shoot down. But that is, if the aircraft is on the defense in the first place. The A-10 detects threats significantly sooner than threats can detect it, making it more than suitable for attacks. Early detection is made possible by an intelligent avionic package that feeds the A-10 with real-time access to all essential combat information. The avionics include a missile warning system, an ALQ-184 ECM pod that interacts with the missile warning system, and lastly, a remotely operated video-enhanced receiver that provides data to ground people. The A-10 is also outfitted with a paved penny laser receiver pod, an inertial navigation system, and a low-altitude safety and targeting enhancement. And last but not least, the Warthog can be maintained and flown from remote locations with few facilities. The engines, the main landing gear, and the vertical stabilizers are only some of the many sections of the aircraft that may be switched between left and right sides. The A-10 thus has a limitless array of avionics, and these avionics, paired with the aircraft's armor and overall battlefield lethality, is why Ukraine has continued to request it for use against Russia. Is there a more diverse U.S. fighter aircraft? Tell us in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.